working in uh, Denmark as a consul of Peru, and I had there two friends that they were directing the diplomatic corps for young people. And one was the counselor of the American embassy, and the other was a counselor of the Spanish embassy. And the funny thing was, I was very close friends to both of them, and many times my friend of the, the American uh, friend told me that he was coming to Poland. And then I said, why do you go so often to Poland? I don't understand. And he told me, it's because we are supporting uh, Lech Wałęsa. And that was in the year uh, 1978. And I was so surprised. I said, it's the first time uh, I heard this name. Who is uh, Lech Wałęsa? I asked him. And he told me he is the leader of solidarity and he is fighting to get rid, to help Poland to get rid from the Soviet uh, power. I was so surprised because that was the first time I heard about Lech Wałęsa. Tonight you will see uh, a very new film, Wałęsa, which has been premiered in Venice and yesterday in uh, Oprah, tomorrow in Krakow and last Friday in Dansk. Andrzej Pajda uh, is not only a, a cinema legend, he's also a theater legend. And uh, in, uh, the first step uh, was uh, to, 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 to work together with uh, Robert, me, and him, of course, uh, like in theater. And uh, the, the, the lucky uh, was uh, to, to act exactly the works of all both. My questions are the real question in the interview you can, you can find in the, in the book, uh, in the book uh, in, uh, Interview to the Power. I think it was a very realistic film, not pretending to put a false story, but the real story. I was very attentive to the interview, and it was really fantastic to see that uh, Lev Bawenza was answering, I think in the um, honest way. I think that this film really reflects his personality. My first impression is a very positive one. I'm, I'm really very, very uh, satisfied with the, with the movie. I think uh, it provides a, a, a good idea of uh, Bawensa, uh, the man, uh, and uh, Bawensa, the uh, labor leader and the, and the political leader. And the, uh, um, it uh, presents him with a human face. It's, it's not a, um, a movie with a, uh, it has heroics in, in many in many in many ways, but it's not a portrayal that uh, is trying to uh, to uh, um, well not create because he's already been he is a myth already. But 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 uh, provides the the uh, the human side of of uh, of a great uh, of a great uh, leader uh, who was uh, uh, well who made a, an impressive contribution to uh, freedom in Poland and to freedom in, in Europe. An amazing movie. It works, I think, at least at three levels. You know, one is, of course, the historic level. It's so important for this story to be told and to be retold many times. Uh, we have a new generation that doesn't know all the details of how Poland has now become a leader within the European Union, but it didn't get there very easily. It's, it's, a, it's a story of great courage. It's also an incredibly, I think, eternal story about someone who has leadership thrust upon them. And that's what I saw with Mr. Lech Wałęsa. This was somebody who had the attributes of a leader, but it was the timing, and he had the courage of his convictions to take up the cause. Many others would have shunned. I mean, the cost, because he knew what had happened in the 70s. He knew the cruelty and the, and the, the punishments that could be inflicted, and yet despite that, he took it on. But he also had these amazing instincts. This is what I learned from the movie, I think. Oriana Falaci smoked at that time because Red Lark are out of production. Uh, of production. Yeah. And uh, I, I paid a lot because uh, yeah, it was a, a collectionist. And uh, I found exactly 
a box of red uh, lac with uh, the um, uh, American company, the blue, because uh, she lives in uh, New York. It was worse uh, for Robert, because the Polish cigarettes without filter <laughs> and uh, with the smell uh, of the matches <laughs> was worse. But inside uh, we put uh, modern cigarettes because the, the mine was uh, too, too dry to smoke. Too, too many cigarettes. The, at night was... Uh... Ja nie chcę, ale muszę.